what's going on y'all we're back with another reaction video today we got drake london 2021 highlights uh walter football had him ranked as their number two receiver so far all i've seen is Traylon burks um garrett wilson and jameson williams and uh i probably put Traylon is one jameson two and then garrett is three but we're gonna see uh see how, how i feel about drake london uh according to the past season so season before last the one that just ended says london was on a crowded depth chart in 19 and 20 but he still shows some intriguing ability he is a big receiver who is a physical runner after the catch and it's very difficult for defensive backs to tackle london could be poised for a huge 2021 season if he's the number one receiver for kadan slovis slovis is pretty nice from what i remember like watching the highlight tape for receivers who played at uh, usc he was slovis was pretty nice after losing Michael Pittman Jr. and Amon Ross St. Brown over the last two drafts, London should be the top target for the Trojans. He could explode in 2021 with his mismatch size and strength. You really don't get like cold 6'5 receivers that come out that often. It's not like I think the last one was Mike Evans. Like that's like a legit 6'5 and like just nice like that. London hauled in. So this is this previous season. London hauled in 88 receptions for 1,084 yards, seven touchdowns. In his eight game 2020 oh he did that in eight games wow before su suffering a season ending ankle fracture this was a devastating injury for london because it will probably keep him from running at the combine oh man that's tough he needs those opportunities to attempt to dispel worries about his ability to run at the next level since there is no doubt that london has mismatch size and is a dangerous 50 50 receiver he's a weapon for yardage after the catch so they said that last year and is an asset in the end zone. So he's good after the catch. All right, we're going to see. He says, others don't share those concerns. you would be a Mike Evans caliber receiver. Okay. Let's jump into it. Most impressive receiver in camp for USC. Ball goes to the oh, he was in a slot. Okay, that was a good move. Oh, okay. Oh. He's got Drake London. Kind of smooth. Looks to throw again. Good catch. Wow, that was a great throw, too. Okay. Hey, okay. Hey. That's a big thing, bro. Being able to make them catches on the sideline. That was nice. Oh, my gosh. Good throw. Good adjustment. Put his head down. Oh, yeah, he got some wiggle. He definitely got some wiggle. How is Slovis? Like, I've only seen him on receivers highlight tapes, but I've never actually watched his tape. Oh, wow. Slovis on first, putting it up there for London again. Perfect ball. Just make the total adjustment. That's different. Oh, okay. Hold on. A little contact there between both of them, but good contested catch. Oh, nah, nah. He good. He good. I see him up top. Great adjustment. Great adjustment. Barlow stays in the block. Oh my! Wow! I like that play. Wow! Wow! I ain't gonna lie. So far, this receiving class is looking really good. Like, really, really good. And I haven't even seen that many. I've seen, what, four, five? Ooh, he actually got some hops. Yeah. He not stiff, you know, like a lot of taller receivers. Pretty stiff. This is agility help, you know, with his height. Makes his catch rate is even bigger. Wow, he's nice on the sidelines. 
Honestly, he'd be a nice pickup for the Chiefs. I think they need that. That uh. Oh, okay. Oh my! I did not notice that was one hand. Wow. Quarterback, nice. Hmm. I think they need that big position catch type receiver, just to mix up the receiving core a little bit. Wow, he got moves. Oh my gosh. Solid blocks. Oh, okay. Hey, okay. Pushing inside, then just come back out to the flat. Dart puts it on him quickly. A lot of space. Beautiful. Nice. Ball. And as he comes up here, it's a they saw him coming out the backfield too. So the fact that it still works is pretty, pretty odd. But hey, I definitely like what I see. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to like, once I'm done, uh, reacting to all the receivers, go back and do like a top ten, and just rank them. And I think I have to watch another Gary Wilson highlight tape because uh, I don't know. They had him ranked number one, but every receiver I've seen so far, at least the three, Drake London. Jamison Williams and uh Traylon Burks. I like all three of them better. Uh I'll probably keep Traylon Burks at one. Uh Drake London probably put him at two. Tie him with Williams at three. And then uh put uh probably put uh Wilson at four. I don't know. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. I appreciate y'all for watching. Hit the like button for me, subscribe, stay tuned. Stay blessed.